it is time for another monster animal mashup. All right, so it is monster animal mashup number nine. Number nine. All right, what mammal are we gonna get today? I got a sheep. Wow, okay, a sheep. All right, next bag. What is going to be combined with this sheep? Oh, a praying mantis. <laughs> uh. I was actually thinking of this one the other day, so I was wondering when it was going to rear its ugly little head. Alright, what mythical fairy tale element is this animal right here going to have? Hopefully nothing really crazy. A centre. What? And last but not least, what? Oh. What is this thing going to be? Is it going to be cute or is it going to be made into a hideous monster? Now, I haven't had the cute tag for a while, so I'm sort of sort of hoping to get that, but yeah. Anyway, let's just see how it all pans out. <laughs> oh wow okay so I do have to make that cute all right cool all right so there's the prompt so we have a sheep as a main animal we've got a praying mantis as the second main animal so those two get mushed together then we add an element from a center into that into that animal and then we've got to make this animal cute so, let's get cracking. Let's, let's get into this one and see what we can make of this. Okay, like I say with all of these, the struggle was real with this. And another reason why I have not brought out another monster mashup for this long again is because I absolutely struggled with this. And I actually did two two full illustrations before this final third one that were absolutely hideous and I nearly just you know vomited in my own mouth that's how bad they were I'll probably show you guys that in a sketchbook tour eventually you'll you will see it but it took me a while to sort of work out how I was going to combine these two animals and the disasters that I had previous, um, when I had to just rehash and go back to the drawing board, I just went, no, I can't travel down this path. I have to change it. And I changed it from the sheep being the top half and the praemantis being the bottom half. That's where it didn't work. And I flipped it and made the praemantis the top half and then made the sheep the bottom half because when I actually stepped back and I thought about it, I thought, well, when I was adding the centaur element, I thought, well, a centaur has, you know, four legs. And at this point in time, you'll see on the screen, I thought I would be really tricky and flick my book across the table uh, like a complete smart ass and knocked over luckily it was just fresh water that I put out there was no paint in it and it went everywhere and I just cleaned the floors and I was not happy I was ropeable because I had to then clean up this water it was all over my book it was all over my table it was all over the floor not happy not happy at all anyway back to the drawing so, to add the centaur element, I 
I had to put the sheep on the bottom because that looks more like the sort of centaur look that you have, which looks like a horse. And it has the four legs and it's like an, a proper animal, you know, like a, like a centaur basically. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm, I'm struggling to get my words out today and I don't know why. Um, <laughs> I struggle every day, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I, I put the sheep body on the bottom and then made this made the prey mantis come out as the top part so the idea was to you know obviously as you know mash the sheep in the prey mantis but instead of like mixing and mashing body parts from the sheep and the prey mantis all together all over the place that's where the centaur element came into it the centaur however you say it um the centaur element came into it and i made you know, because in a centaur, one one half is human, complete human, and then the other half is complete horse. It's a horse, isn't it? Wait a sec, I have to I have to Google this. Centaur. Yeah, half man, half horse. Okay, cool. Now that we've cleared that up. So yeah, that's where I was going. So the prey mantis, it was just purely prey mantis top, purely prey mantis up. Uh, purely sheep bottom and yeah that's where the centaur element came into because i wasn't sure how the hell i was going to introduce you know a centaur element but that's that's how i did it and then i had to make it cute so there was no blood or anything in this and yeah i made the little prey mantis with his little little arms pretty much going to the side and he's got one going up under his chin like i'm really cute i'm a cute little prey mantis look at me you know that's what i was doing with the prey mantis so yeah that's 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 the story to it so this is just a cute little prey mantis he just walks around and basically does this same gesture to everybody i'm a really cute little prey mantis you know talk to me i'm really cute and that's basically what he does and he doesn't harm anybody he's really cute how many times am i gonna say cute oh god the birds fighting outside jesus I don't know if you heard that, but anyway. So yeah, um, I, I'm i actually really happy with this piece. Like, I'm talking 100% happy with it. I love the way the Prey Mantis top came out. It's one of my best, I think, because he looks, he looks quite real. And I don't know what you guys think, but to me, he looks quite real. And I don't usually do really real sort of stuff. So I was, I was very quite happy with the way he turned out and i'm happy with the sheep bottom like it's it's very plain um it's a very plain sort of illustration it's just you know it's your prey mantis it's your, it's your sheep yeah and that's that's basically it so yeah no i i've redeemed myself on this after a while so you know of of making some really crap art and I sort of bounced back with this one and I sort of started to feel a little bit better again because I've just been feeling a little bit disappointed with the way I've been doing stuff lately and yeah I just need a bit of a pick-me-up and, and this did it so yeah I'm happy I'm, I'm happy with the end result to this so like I always say you know join in please show me what you draw with these prompts if you do I will post it in the next videos if you show me if you if you want it that way if you don't let me know i won't include it in anything but i yeah if you don't say anything i will put it into the next videos so that's it i'm out of here thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye